that we can literally use a mouse now on our phone. How cool is that? Love it, love it, love it. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Logitech MX Master 3S wireless performance mouse. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this mouse, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's the retail box and packaging. Everything looks really nice. So a couple of key features. We have our mag speed scroll wheel comfort and support built into the design, speed up your workflow with app specific profiles, and we have a precise and ultra fast sensor on any surface, 8,000 DPI in case you're wondering. This also is compatible with Windows, Mac, Linux, Chrome, iPad OS, and Android devices. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature followed by our USB dongle right here. If you wanna use this dongle to connect, you can. We even have the Logitech logo on it. We have a nice USB type A to USB type C cable. Again, customized with their logo, pretty cool. I peeled this off the bottom of the mouse. We have our setup instructions, depending on which route you wanna to go to set up and connect and use your mouse. Lastly, we have the mouse itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's a close up of the Logitech mouse from the top. We got their logo and branding, our left and right buttons, got a center button and a nice scroll wheel. This thing's weighted, really high quality, and it makes a cool noise. If we spin it fast enough, you can hear that there. On the side for our thumb, we have an additional scroll option, a couple more buttons, and another button down here built in, which is neat and a nice comfortable design to hold and rest with your thumb and your fingers. Here it is from the front, USB type C. Here's our other side profile with our ribbed design. Here's the bottom of the mouse, a couple different switches and buttons there, and then some nice grip as well. Pay attention to how it kind of has that wavy design on the bottom, a couple of different valleys then our flat surface, our sensor, everything looks nice. We got our control button here for three different connection points. Just for fun, I actually use day to day here in the studio, the M720. Because I've had such a great experience with this mouse, I decided to upgrade my own personal desk setup. Similar, and I love this mouse. I'm excited for this mouse. Let's go ahead, let's try it out. So we're gonna be connecting this mouse with our Windows PC via Bluetooth. So first thing we have to do on the backside, toggle up the first switch to the Bluetooth icon, and you'll have green at the bottom. Now you know that it's on. You'll also notice down here, the one will be illuminated and it'll start blinking. That's gonna be the setting and the device that we're gonna pair to. If for some reason you want it to be the second or third option, just press the black button until the correct number is illuminated and it's flashing rapidly. You can also hold down the black button at the bottom to get it into pairing mode so it's rapidly blinking. Now we're ready to go to our PC. We're gonna add a Bluetooth device. We're gonna choose the first option. It's gonna give us a list of devices right here and it's already available. So MX Master 3S is how it shows up. Let's connect again right here. So we just selected it. There we go. Everything is set up and paired. Now I'm going to ditch this mouse and let's try this one. Ta-da! Everything is working great. Depending on your experience, you may have the option to download some additional Logitech software. This will give you more features and customization options. So the software is called Options Plus. I went ahead, I downloaded it. You're prompted to create an account, but you can skip that process and just get right to this screen if you don't want to create an account. So our mouse is right here. We have our other one as well, the M720, not supported yet. Our Logitech keyboard is supported, which is cool. But for this video, we're gonna look at the mouse that we just set up. So we're gonna select it and let's walk through the different options here. So we can set up our pointer speed. This is neat. So I really like where it's at. So extend center range to 8K DPI. So that's, too, that's way too fast for me. I don't know how people do that. Whoa. Too slow. Uh, 
that's probably too fast. So let's turn that back down. We'll probably go to 50% or so for now. Just find whatever works for your preference. All right, that's a little slow. We'll do 64, that's fine. Hit next. Scroll wheel, so we got our mag speed magnetic scroll wheel. So with the scroll wheel, you can silently shift from line to line to hyper fast scroll. Click the mode shift button to manually toggle between ratchet and free spin modes. Okay, that's cool. So it looks like, oh, interesting. So it does, weird. Oh, that's so weird. You won't be able to notice anything until you experience this in person. But we do, we have our, interesting, hyper fast scroll. Oh, that's wild. And then literally our line by line. Cool, I like that. I'm leaving it line by line for now. Horizontal scroll, so sweet. So a couple of different options we could use it to zoom in or out, volume, navigate between tabs or keyboard shortcut. We're gonna leave it as horizontal scroll for now. Our back button, we're gonna leave that as a back button, but you can see the other options there. And then our forward button, ooh, we got a paste, redo, I like that. So we'll leave it forward for now. And then our easy switch, so pair your mouse up to three devices and switch between them. Really nice, you can toggle it just at the very bottom. And gestures, so look at that. So click and hold the buttons as you move the mouse to use the gesture actions below. You can configure the gestures to perform different actions later. So hold and move left, almost like a trackpad. So fancy, hold and move right. And there is a little click and feedback that you get with the mouse for the gestures. And then we could set up app specific customizations if we wanted. Sorry, Microsoft Edge, but we'll leave that for now. Device is configured. Now we're gonna go into it. So middle button, shift wheel mode, horizontal scroll back, forward gestures. So again, we can select a button, configure it how we want, other actions. I mean, you get the idea. There's so many things you can customize with this. This is crazy. So look at the software really unlocking this mouse and its potential. Here's our Google Chrome recommended. We'll just click all of them so you can see. Let's go back to middle button, app specific, other actions. So you get the idea here. You can really play around with this depending on what application you're in, global settings. We got our battery right here as well. So here's point and scroll, just the speed again, if you wanna tweak that. Easy switch. We have our flow. So welcome to Logi Flow. Use and control multiple computers seamlessly with flow. That's pretty sweet. Basically it's like its own KVM switch almost. So if you wanna do a dual PC setup, things like that, you can use flow can set it up between your devices right there. And then we have additional settings where we can update the mouse, product support, remove the device, factory settings, you get the idea here, but it's very customizable depending on what you're after. I'm happy with how we set everything up and it's working great. Now it's time to test out if this really works with iOS devices. So we have an iPhone here. We're gonna add a new Bluetooth device. So let's go ahead, we have Bluetooth turned on. We're gonna make it our second setting here. It's already flashing. We have lots of devices, here it is. MX Master 3S. So we're gonna pair the device. It's now connected. And let's see. All right, there we go, look at that. I'm not sure how to navigate with a mouse and a phone, but if you can see that right there, it is working technically. That's crazy. I mean, look at that, that's that's the mouse doing it. Weird. All right, that's, that's crazy. All right, let's go back home. So the scroll wheel brings it up. So technically it does work with a phone. Obviously you're gonna want a certain app to use, but that's cool. So iOS devices, check. 
Now we're gonna pair it with an Android device. So we have our Bluetooth settings right here. We're waiting for a new device. So let's go to setting number three. It's all set up. Now it's gonna show up right here, MX Master 3S. We're gonna pair it. Ta-da, there we go. We actually got a mouse on the display. What the heck are you guys seeing that? Let's go Android. Look at that. So we can literally use a mouse now on our phone. How cool is that? Love it, love it, love it. Let's open up the calculator. Ta-da. Everything's working great. Super responsive as well. Love it. Now, just for fun, we're gonna test this mouse out on glass to see if it works. While I don't have a glass surface here, this glass baking dish will do. So the mouse is working just fine right now. It's moving across the screen, no issues. Let's place it on the glass dish. And what the heck, look at that. It's flawless. I can't tell a difference whether we're using the glass or the actual mouse pad. That's wild. I'm not really sure how that works. That's pretty cool technology. Just for fun, since I have our M720 here, it is kind of working. You can see it works way better on the mouse pad. We're getting some use, but this is actually made for it. Look at that. So if you have a nice standing glass desk, something like that, no issues here using this mouse on glass. Let me share with you a couple of observations I've noticed since using the Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. The first thing is there's no removable cover that I can find. Now call me chicken, but I don't want to try to break anything on here, but I couldn't find any removable cover easily that allows us to store our dongle. So I'm making the assumption that you cannot store the USB dongle and I find that pretty silly. I wish if nothing else, they gave us like a USB port up here that we could use this to store it. So give us a type A port or make this dongle type A to type C somehow and have a little pass through so we could connect that and still charge it or connect the wire if we wanted. I'd like to see something like that design in the future. But compared to the Magic Mouse at this price point, it's really nice that they didn't put the USB port on the very bottom of our mouse. Second thing is this has a built-in lithium battery. So there's no removable battery. So you can't just use some rechargeable AA or AAA batteries. That's what I prefer. Call me old school. Not that big of a deal, but I'd like to see a version or variation with that in the future if possible. Other than that, I want to point out setting this up on my primary PC, we had more profile options for different software, specifically from Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro. So we had Google, we had Microsoft Edge and those Adobe products. So depending on the software you're using, you might have a profile available for your mouse, which is really cool. I like that feature a lot. So really well thought out. Second thing I want to say is I really appreciate the quiet clicking on this mouse, just using the left and right clicks, they're near silent, but we still get feedback. So you know, obviously, if you're clicking or not. So very comfortable, easy to use. I like that a lot. My favorite feature hands down is the scroll wheel. I love having basically that super scroll fast option in motion or going line by line. I'd find myself using line by line. That's what I really like. And it's just great that we can basically press a button and due to that magnet inside, you can choose which option you want. So a lot of customization here, very flexible. Obviously this is an expensive mouse compared to a lot of other, you know, wireless mice mouses that are available online. But in my opinion, if you're somebody that's investing in your setup because you're on the computer eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hours a day, it's not that big of a deal when you factor that in over the course of just using it, you know, for a couple of weeks, I feel like you get your money back in no time. So really nice, solid mouse, great weight, happy with the scroll wheel functionality on it. Overall, just a really enjoyable mouse to use. I haven't found myself using gestures that much, but I'm sure for certain users out there, you're really gonna like that feature. Last thing I wanna say, maybe in the future, some sort of built-in battery light indicator. We do have a light over here, but I'd like to have a light that maybe has like three or four mini lights. So you know like, oh, I got 75% left. I got 50% left. I got 25% left. Something like that, maybe, you know, split up for this indicator light that they have. So we could just glance whenever we want without having to use software to be able to tell how much batteries left. 